for this half hour. We're going to show you some extraordinary images of space and to do them justice, really, you need to see them across. The James Webb Space Telescope had already become a symbol of human ingenuity long before its most shocking discovery. As it peered deeper into the cosmos than any observatory before it, each new image and data packet returned to Earth told a story older and more mysterious than humanity itself. But what it uncovered on a routine survey of a seemingly unremarkable region of space sent a ripple through the scientific world so intense it brought everything to a halt. This was not a matter of poetic beauty or distant galaxies shimmering in infrared glory. This was different. The telescope, in its silent orbit a million miles from Earth, had found something that defied not just expectation, but comprehension. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. It began with a faint but oddly regular signal embedded within the data of a deep field scan. Scientists initially assumed it was noise, perhaps a glitch, perhaps background interference. But patterns emerged, too precise too structured, and most alarming of all, repeated with mathematical consistency. This wasn't a naturally occurring pulse from a dying star or the chaotic radiation of a black hole. The signal had timing, intention. It was broadcasting across multiple infrared bands with complex harmonics, repeating intervals that lined up perfectly with prime number sequences and geometric progressions, patterns that no known cosmic process would produce on its own. Within days, it was clear the Webb telescope had intercepted something artificial, something not from Earth. The realization hit like a lightning strike. The data underwent relentless analysis. Teams from NASA, the European Space Agency, and independent labs pored over the information, and the conclusions were the same across the board. The signal had structure indicative of intelligent origin, but that wasn't even the most astonishing aspect. The source was estimated to be over 13 billion light years away, close to the edge of the observable universe. In human terms, that meant the signal had been traveling through the vast void of space since the dawn of the first galaxies. If it truly came from an intelligent civilization, that civilization existed when the universe was in its infancy, long before Earth had even formed. The implications were terrifying. Humanity had always imagined the possibility of intelligent life somewhere among the stars. But this was not just proof, it was ancient proof. Civilization, intelligent enough to craft signals across deep space and encode them with mathematical intent, had existed in the cosmic past when Earth was still cosmic dust swirling around a newborn sun. If something, or someone, was able to generate the signal at such a distance and with such intentional structure, it meant we were not the first, not even close, and perhaps not alone even now. As the analysis deepened, the shape of the signal began to take on an even more unsettling tone. It wasn't just broadcasting, it was evolving. The signal seemed to shift subtly over time, as if reacting to its own detection. Repeating intervals began to modulate, the harmonics expanded. Embedded within the core frequencies, new data structures appeared. Nested fractals, recursive symbols, even what some scientists described as multidimensional geometries. These weren't messages in a language that humans could interpret, but they weren't random either. They followed advanced mathematical rules, ones that hinted at a level of cognition or intelligence far beyond our own. But how could something that old, that distant, still be broadcasting? That question sparked the first wave of panic. Because if the signal was still active, still responding, it might not be from something long gone. It might be from something still out there, something watching, something that had been broadcasting into the cosmos since time immemorial, perhaps never expecting a reply, until now. Theoretical models were revised overnight. Astrophysicists who had spent their careers focused on dark matter and star formation suddenly turned their attention to decoding signal layers. Linguists were brought in, as were cryptographers and AI experts. Attempts were made to interpret the geometry embedded within the signal, but the patterns were so alien, so far removed from human cognition, that every breakthrough led only to deeper uncertainty. More chilling was the discovery that the signal contained a sort of internal echo, a time delay loop, as if it had been meant to bounce off cosmic structures and reinforce itself over billions of years. It was, in essence, a cosmic beacon designed to last forever. But for what purpose? A warning? A map? A memory? The theories were endless. Some believed it was a remnant of a civilization that had transcended material existence, leaving behind an artifact that could speak across time. Others believed it was a trap, a siren call meant to lure any intelligent life toward its origin. And that origin was not just far, but in a region of space that had long been considered void of significant structure. Nothing about that quadrant had drawn attention before, yet now, 
Deeper scans by the Webb telescope revealed anomalies, shifts in gravitational lensing, light absorption patterns that didn't conform to known models. There were suggestions of megastructures, planet-sized constructs absorbing or redirecting starlight in ways that hinted at engineering on an impossible scale. Engineered? Yes. That word could no longer be dismissed. The James Webb Telescope had not only peered into the oldest light in the universe, it had seen the fingerprints of something deliberate, something not made by nature. The most unnerving aspect was the symmetry. The patterns seen in the signal echoed through the structure of the region itself, as if the entire area had been configured for the express purpose of amplification, a massive cosmic amplifier broadcasting into the void. Why? That question loomed over every scientific meeting, every emergency briefing. Theories turned from the abstract to the existential. Could this be the work of a civilization that had survived the heat death of its local galaxy? Had it transformed stars and dark matter into communication tools, casting its voice outward in the hope that someone, something, would eventually hear? Or worse, was it meant for something else entirely? A call not to humanity, but to others like them? A flare fired across the abyss not for contact, but for convergence? The web team could not ignore the possibility that the signal, by now modified and clearly active, was interacting with something beyond the reach of human instruments. Telescopes were redirected. Supercomputers ran simulation after simulation, but there was no playbook for this, no precedent. This wasn't discovering microbial life on a Martian rock. This was contact with intelligence operating on a scale so vast and so old that it made the whole of human history feel like the blink of an eye. And still, the signal changed. The changes weren't drastic, but they were deliberate. Harmonic layers split into subtones, subtones into micro vibrations. It was as if the signal had begun listening, a terrifying proposition. Something ancient, something possibly dormant for billions of years, had noticed the James Webb telescope, not as a passive observer, but as an intrusion. And now, perhaps, it had turned its attention toward the source of that intrusion, us. The nature of the signal's changes began to suggest mapping algorithms. The modulation now pulsed in patterns consistent with known scanning behaviors, sonar-like sweeps across frequency bands, triangulation pulses that seemed to bounce off solar wind and planetary magnetic fields. A chilling hypothesis emerged. The signal was beginning to scan us. It wasn't just humanity watching the stars anymore. The sense of dread crept into even the most rational corners of science. The implications were no longer academic. Had the James Webb Telescope activated a mechanism not meant to be found? Had it awakened something? This wasn't the scenario so often imagined in science fiction, where an alien probe touches down or messages arrive bearing friendly greetings. This was older, colder, and far less optimistic. If such an ancient intelligence existed capable of interstellar or even intergalactic engineering, it would view humanity as we might view microbes in a drop of pond water. Not out of malice, but simply out of scale. And what do civilizations do with microbes? Study them? Ignore them? Destroy them? Despite the layers of mystery, one thing became clear. The discovery represented a singular turning point. Everything that came before, human conflict, technology, religion, culture, had occurred in a bubble of cosmic solitude. That bubble had now burst. The universe was no longer an empty canvas for human exploration. It was a landscape with players far older, far more advanced, and possibly still active. And now, they might be aware of us. Every new observation brought deeper complexity. The region of space emitting the signal was not just distant, it was temporally significant. Due to the speed of light, we were seeing this area as it was billions of years ago, yet the signal had adapted to our detection almost in real time. The contradiction stunned theorists. Some proposed that we weren't just looking across space, but through dimensions. That the signal might exist in a layer of reality unbound by our linear timeline. Others suggested wormholes or quantum ecosystems designed to remain eternally aware of the civilizations that arose after them. But perhaps the most frightening theory was also the simplest. What if the signal had always been meant for us? Not by us specifically, but for any life form that developed the capacity to build a telescope like Webb. It wasn't a message of greeting, but a threshold, a test, a silent cosmic gate that would remain locked until some civilization became capable enough and curious enough to look deep enough to find it. And once that happened, the gate would open. If so, the question became, what lies beyond that gate? No one had an answer. All anyone could agree on was that the signal's discovery had changed the trajectory of human thought permanently. There was no going back to the previous state of innocence. No return to the assumption that the universe was silent 
and we were its only story. The sky had once offered wonder and inspiration. Now it offered questions that no human mind could answer. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its array of golden mirrors and unmatched precision, had done more than reveal the hidden beauty of the universe. It had uncovered something older than fear, deeper than time, a message, a beacon, a presence that stretched across the void, and it was still active. The world paused not out of awe, but out of something far rarer, a collective species-wide realization that we had crossed a line, a boundary not marked by distance, but by knowledge. The telescope had looked back to the beginning of time, and time, it seemed, had looked back. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. What are your thoughts on James Webb's terrifying discovery? What do you expect? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.